μου πει για την καταγωγή σου. Well, actually, actually, I'm Greek American. My family's from Crete, and uh, my name is Mark Joseph Priest. Πώς αποφάσισες να μείνεις στην Ελλάδα; Greece is beautiful. Every place has its problems, and every place has its has the good things about it. And you weigh what's good and what's bad. I prefer living here. Πώς προέκυψε το γεγονός ότι γράφεις blues μουσική; I've been listening to the blues since I was a kid. There's something about the blues that's magic. You know, a lot of people think that blues, especially here in Greece, a lot of people think that blues is a slow song that you dance with your girlfriend or with your boyfriend with, or music that's very sad. It's not. It's the opposite. It's happy music. You take the sadness and you turn it into happiness, and that's what intrigues me about the blues. You know, I mean, uh, the old masters, people like, you know, Muddy Waters and B.B. King, live very, very hard lives. They grew up in extreme poverty, but they always saw the positive side of things, and they smiled and their music was happy. So I, I like that. Είσαι έναν ή δύο καλλιτέχνε που έχει συνεργαστεί μαζί του και θα ήθελε να το ξανακάνει. Well, I had the honor of opening a concert for BB King. Obviously, I can't do it again because BB King has passed away. Uh, I also had the opportunity to open a show for uh, Bo Diddley. And uh, of course, he's also gone, so. We'll see what happens in the future. Από πού προέρχεται η έμπνευση για να γράφει στους τοίχους σου; Lyrics are a funny thing. Songs are a funny thing. I don't know what comes first. Sometimes lyrics come first. Sometimes the music comes first. Sometimes they come at the same time. I don't really write fictitious music. I write music and lyrics that come out of my own life and my own experiences. It's not that something happens and I immediately go home and write something. It could be two, three years later. Blues is really about storytelling. You tell a story, each song is a story. And that's what makes it interesting. When you see the old masters, the blues men, they basically, they wrote songs with the same three chords. But each song was completely different because the story was different. And they were good storytellers. So that's what, that's what I try to do also. Παίζεις original μουσική. Θες να μας πεις λίγο γι' αυτό. It's going to be different from what we call classic blues because I didn't grow up on a plantation. I grew up in the cities. And I grew up now. I'm living now. I'm not living in 1930 or 1940. So my stories are my own. And I want that story I, I want to tell people that story, my story. Θεωρείς πως υπάρχει καινοτομία στο να παίζεις blues. I think any kind of music that you play, originality, you're not going to be as original as Muddy Waters was when Muddy Waters became Muddy Waters. Because they were drawing on a blank canvas. We're not drawing on a blank canvas anymore. But I think at the end of the day, what counts 
is your personality. Your personality is what's original. Everybody's had their heart broken, right? It's how you say it that makes a difference. So in that respect, uh, yeah, it's original because also after all these years, we all grew up, you know, listening to rock, jazz, funk, soul. So many things have have come along over the years that it can't help but infect you. Κάποια από τα τραγούδια σου υπάρχει φλάουτο μέσα και μάλιστα βιρτουόζικο φλάουτο. Σε παραπέμπει λίγο σε 60s, 70s, ισχύει κάτι τέτοιο. Yeah, you know, listen. I'm, a, I'm basically, I'm a hippie. I'm a, I'm a 70s hippie generation. And in my soul, I'm still a hippie. And I put flute in there. Uh, the flute player's name was Dimitris Karagannis an excellent flute player uh, and it gives it it gives it a little bit of psychedelic puts a little psychedelic touch to it gives it a little hippie touch a little bit of 60s yeah that's why I did it <laughs> Υπάρχει κάποια δισκογραφική δουλειά που περιμένουμε ή κάποιο show τώρα εδώ κοντά. I'm in the process of writing music right now and we'll be going in the studio probably in the next three, four months. Uh, and as far as gigs go, we'll be playing on the 27th in a small place in, in Nikia called Zempi, which is a very cozy, very warm Bar will be playing uh, in Pendelia Palazzo later on, and we're around. We're going to be busy. We're going to be busy working and playing as much as we possibly can. When you play in a club situation like this, the warmer the club is, the the better the vibe is between us playing and the people listening. And Hoxton has that. And I'm very happy to be here. We are very happy that you are here too. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Mark, thank you very much for your presentation. Well, I want to thank you. I want to thank Alex that's on the camera. Well, I want to thank you. I want to thank Alex that's on the camera. It's cold out here. I want to thank Faye. I want to thank Faye for doing a wonderful job making me feel so comfortable. I want to thank Hoxton for having us tonight and Johnny and the whole crew inside and uh, we're looking forward to having a good time tonight so don't go anywhere because uh, the party's here. The party's at Gazi, the party's at Hoxton. We are the shadows and we shoot straight from the heart. Shoot straight from the heart. Sing loud to me, baby. Yeah. The underground coming for you. I mean, live on the fringes, love in the dark.